welcome to Scope. Today we're focusing on things that bite and sting. And there are many. What chews and bites, munches and crunches? It's our jaw. But what happens if it gets damaged or broken? Can we replace it? Hi, my name is David and I research creation of artificial bone and joints for the jaw. Let's first take a close-up look at the jaw. This is Murray. Say hello, Murray. Hello, Murray. Such a joker. This is the jawbone, known as the mandible. The jaw hinges open and closed in a biting action, but it also moves a little from side to side as well as front and back. We need this action in order to chew our food by grinding it between our rear teeth. So these are the sorts of movements we need to replicate when we develop any replacement for a patient. But why would a patient need to have their jaw replaced? Jaw dysfunction might be caused by an accident or bone loss due to cancer. Patients might find themselves with a reduced ability to eat or talk. To create an artificial jaw implant, we first need to scan the patient's jaw with medical imaging. From these scans, we can use computer-aided design to model an implant that would fit into the patient. The design is then sent to a 3D printer for fabrication. This is a 3D metal printer. It fuses titanium in layers to create a 3D part. And here's the finished product, a part to replace the end of the mandible. On the other side of the joint, we would also implant a socket at the base of the skull for the ball to sit in. We can't put the implant straight into the patient First, we need to test its ability to withstand load. The human jaw can apply up to 100 kilograms of force in a single bite. We need to make sure the implant is up to the task. In the future, we hope to be able to 3D print an entire mandible. We will need to be able to attach teeth as well as the muscles. The finished product will mean the patient is able to talk and eat much more comfortably again. Right, Murray? Right, David. 